A new report out last month says one in four high school seniors has vaped in the last month. So how do we stop it? As KXAN's Tom Miller explains, one Central Texas football coach is making sure his players know about the dangers. On the field, the focus is on running the right routes, making tackles, and hitting your targets. But when practice is over for the Georgetown Eagles football team, the lessons don't stop. I've taken, personally taken care of two cases here in Georgetown. The team brought in Dr. Audrey Wen to talk about the dangers of vaping, something Captain Taco Williams says he sees all over campus. If you walk into a bathroom at passing periods, then you walk in, you'll see somebody doing it, and you turn around and walk out. According to a report published in the New England Journal of Medicine last month, one in four high school seniors reported vaping in the last 30 days. That number was one in five for 10th graders and nearly one in 10 for 8th graders. Dr. Wen says she's treated one patient who had to go on life support. This particular disease, this uh, vaping-related lung injury, um, is really affecting a lot of young people. But why talk about it at football practice? Coach Chuck Griffin says his first responsibility is to help shape these young men. My idea is if we can be a character development program that's really good at football, that's what I'd like to be known for. It should scare every single kid on the team, and I, I think that if it does, then it should have a really big impact. With the hope that good decisions made off the field will help them on it as well. In Georgetown, Tom Miller, KXAN News. And that same study mentioned in Tom's story, researchers found 41% of all seniors reported having vaped at least once. The superintendent at Hayes CISD told KXAN last month that students are coming forward concerned about vaping at school. The teenagers who sit on a special student advisory council told Dr. Eric Wright that the devices are so small and easy to conceal that students are vaping in classrooms without teachers even noticing. The school district showed us this stack of confiscated devices. They said that this is just from the last school year alone. More than 120 students were caught vaping. Wright says teachers have not been trained at the level they need to be to better identify vaping devices. Only administrators have been trained.